Hey guys, um, talking today about some research we come across. We're going to start posting a lot more research that we've seen because I believe every, everything should be data and research driven. Um, we're getting a lot of questions lately about um, shoulder scopes and shoulder surgeries and um, commonly known as shoulder decompression surgery. And um, one of the things I wanted to talk, it, talk about is the prevalence of it and how effective is a shoulder decompression surgery. Um, we got a great article to back it up. It's a very comprehensive um, clinical practice guideline done by um, BMJ and it's a rack of recommendations. So we're going to post the link to this article um, in our post. You can check that out and read the data for yourself. But if you want a quick synopsis, here it is. Um, so this uh, is talking about shoulder decompression surgery for adults with shoulder pain. So shoulder pain is the third most common um, musculoskeletal issue um, that we have. And um, out of that shoulder pain, um, subacromial pain, so pain kind of along this area, really just your traditional reason why you have shoulder pain, is about 70% of shoulder pain altogether. So we're catching a big group here. Um, what they've done is they looked at the benefits of having a shoulder decompression surgery. And that's your main, that's what you, when you hear shoulder scope, that's what you think about. Okay, thinking about that surgery, shaving off some of the acromium. Um, this is the surgery that they're going, that they're looking at comparing it to um, physical therapy, training to strength training physical therapy. Um, we're comparing the two. So what they said in this, um, and what we're going through, first off, let me tell you who said it. So they brought together a panel of people. And the panel of people that they brought together for this study is pretty comprehensive. Um, the, the study includes orthopedic surgeons, physiotherapists, rheumatologists, um, general internists, um, general practitioners, epidemiologists, and methodologists as well. So it's a pretty comprehensive panel. They're trying to put together what should we do when someone has shoulder pain um, should we send them to surgery? Should they undergo some type of conservative therapy, physical therapy type thing? They're comparing the two. Um, what they found was in, was in this, and they're going on. Uh, so despite the fact that there's been several trials done, and, they, and in this study they took seven different very comprehensive trials, over a thousand patients compared their results of a thousand patients. And um, they're finding that subacromial decompression surgery provided no benefit over a placebo surgery. So, you know, having no benefit there at all. But despite this, we're finding that shoulder scope, shoulder decompression surgeries, the number of them are increasing a ton each year. In fact, um, they looked back and there were 21,000 procedures performed in hospitals in 2010 and it cost about $50 million for all that, although we're not seeing great benefits from any of these surgeries. So the overall recommendation um, of the study, and again, you can check this out and read it yourself. Um, the panel concluded that almost all well-informed patients would decline surgery, and therefore, they, they therefore made a strong recommendation against subacromial decompression surgery. Um, this panel, and this is quoting straight from the article, this panel was confident that surgery provides no important benefit on pain, function, quality of life, and global perceived effect informed by moderate to high certainty evidence in a one-year time frame. Surgery also comes with burdens and the risk of harm. Um, they give a graphic for that if you want to check it out. So, overarching thing, clinicians should not offer patients subacromial decompression surgery unprompted, and clinicians, public health care providers, and others should make efforts to educate the public regarding the ineffectiveness of this surgery. Here we are, we're doing this right now. Although we did not take cost and resources into account beyond direct cost to patients, surgery cannot be cost effective given the lack of important benefit potential for harm and associated costs. So this little insight into shoulder decompression surgery if you're thinking about having it or know someone who is. Um, remember there's a lot of things you can do um, to have a better outcome than surgery. Surgery is not going to be your better best outcome with this. So if you're looking for um, the research with the research backs for best outcome, surgery is not it ask someone else. Um, we'll be doing a lot more of these guys. If you like them, please comment and tell them to keep bringing them in our way. we got some other studies I want to um, launch on, but I thought this would be a good one to start with. So uh, you guys have a good day.